I'm Mrs. Hasty, and today we're going to have fun doing A, B, C, D patterns. Let's start with a rhyme. There were eight in the bed, and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. <gasps> There were seven in the bed, and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. <gasps> Six in the bed, and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. <gasps> Five in the bed, and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Ah! There were four in the bed, and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. Three in the bed, and the little one said, I'm crowded. Rolled over, so they all rolled over and one fell out. <gasps> Two in the bed and the little one said, I'm crowded, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. One in the bed and the little one said, I'm lonely. Look we've made a pattern. This is an A, B, C, D pattern. It's called that because the first four things repeat again. Red, blue, yellow, green, and then it repeats again. Red, blue, yellow, and green. How should this pattern continue? Well, if the first four things keep on repeating, red, blue, yellow, green, red, blue, yellow, green, next would come red, then blue, then yellow, and green. I have some foam pattern blocks. Could you help me use them to make an A, B, C, D pattern? Thanks! Let's start with a yellow hexagon. That will be our A. Next, let's use an orange square. After that, we could use a red trapezoid. A, B, C. We need one more. Let's choose a green triangle. Okay. Now we have our A, B, C, and D. Now we have to repeat again. What comes next? You're right. A yellow hexagon. Then an orange square. Do you know what's next? A red trapezoid. And then, you're right, another green triangle. Let's make an A, B, C, D pattern with coins. Let's start with the coin that's worth 25. Do you remember which one that is? You're right, it's a quarter. That'll be our first one. What will we use next? How about a dime? That's worth 10. After that, let's use a nickel. How much is a nickel worth? You're right, five. A, B, C, 
We need a D. Let's use a penny worth one. K, A, B, C, D. Then we need a, another A. What was our A? A quarter. You're right. The first four things repeat again. Quarter, dime, nickel, penny, quarter, dime, then a nickel, and a penny. Let's make a pattern out of these colored cubes. Let's start with a yellow, then an orange, a blue, and then a green. What do we put next? Yes, a yellow, an orange, and then a blue, and then a, you're right, a green. Should we keep going? Okay, yellow, orange, then blue, and green. Do you know what comes next? Yellow, orange, blue, green. Should we keep going higher? Okay, yellow, blue, orange, green, <gasps> and maybe we could do one more yellow? Look at our A, B, C, D pattern. It's so tall. Let's make our last pattern a movement pattern. We'll start with a clap. Then we'll turn around, we'll nod, and then we'll stop. You ready to try it again? Clap, turn around, nod, and stop. Are you doing it with me? Clap, turn around, nod, stop. One more time. Clap, turn around, nod, stomp. Thank you for doing patterns with me today and come back again for more learning fun. Keep learning at home by making patterns with crayons, markers, or using stickers. Have fun with your food by making patterns at snack time. And when you go outside, Look for things that you can make patterns with. And there's printable resources available at my teacher store at teacherspayteachers.com. Don't forget to subscribe.